To me, there's only one thing an artist can do besides painting and drawing, and that's to observe and look more closely. I'm working and observing more or less all the time. I see continuous work as the way to reach a fuller understanding of my profession, but above all, it's the key to success. The amount of time I spend on each piece is irrelevant. My drawings and paintings originate from travel. I need to travel to find new ideas. When I travel, I can actually look at places, observe, take in as many ideas as possible to distill the images I use for my drawings. I prefer to travel by train, but also like to travel by boat or by bicycle. But train travel is ideal because I think that from the train, Everything looks brilliant, even places I've seen a hundred times before. Many of my paintings and drawings are actually little more than an excuse to paint a certain kind of light. Uh, in particular sunlight I find very beautiful um, because sunlight is the one single thing that gives everything life on this planet but I'm also fascinated by the moodiness of electric light in deserted streets at night Although I get most of the inspiration for my art from travel, um, the desire to travel and the inspiration for my trip actually comes from other people. Um, in 2009 I cycled across Europe and this was directly inspired by Patrick Lee Fermer's walk across Europe in 1933-34. I didn't have a year and a half to walk across Europe, so I decided to go by bicycle. Um, there are numerous artists I really like, but first and foremost, I'd like to mention Edward Hopper. Um, his style and topics uh, immediately relate to my own inner vision and from the from once I got to know his work I also got a way of actually looking at the world and responding to it in my work. Um, next to Edward Hopper I very much like um, the highly detailed uh, rural scenes of Andrew Wyeth, another American. Um, to me his work seems to confirm that it's okay to uh, base your art on a certain technical skill and actually use detailing to attain a particular level of quality. Um, next to these two giants of American painting, I'm very fond of um, the work of uh, Joseph Malort William Turner, the famous British uh, romantic artist from the first half of the 19th century. He used to do what I still do, uh, travel, gather as much material and then use it back at home to compose his pictures. I find Caspar David Friedrich from Germany interesting for his landscapes. Um, 
Next to that, I'm very fond of um, the dramatic uh, pictures of uh, Russian artist Ilya Rapin, but also Vermeer is an artist I very much appreciate. Uh, there are quite a few countries I like to travel to in search of new subjects. Much of my work can be related to the United States in particular, but also to Canada. I very much enjoy going to the northeast of the US, New York, New England, or the southeast of Canada, Quebec in the Maritimes. I find the landscape and architecture interesting, very suitable for both drawings and paintings. But above all, it's the colors and light. The colors are otherworldly, particularly in autumn. Uh, during the Indian summer, and the sunlight is very bright, very crisp. Next to that, I like the UK very much. Um, it's moodier, it's greyer, it's darker, but it has character and personality, um, something I like to get into my work as well, particularly um, the character of those 19th century industrial cities. Um, I very much like mountains because of their shapes, um, the scale and the clarity of the air, the sharp rocks, uh, the snow fields, um, the sense of drama, um, also, but also because you can actually overlook places, look down on them from high up. Um, that offers a kind, the kind of clarity I also seek in my drawings, being able to overlook places, to look down and explain everything. Um, I'm very fond of both Hungary and Romania. There's a certain amount of interaction between the places I visit. Um, they all stimulate me to create new pieces of art but um, they also lead to associations which eventually leads to um, ideas for drawings or paintings. Ideas come in through the back door. It's just a flash, an image that excites me. Back in the day I used to do everything from memory, not anymore nowadays because I really just care about the final result. I don't care about working methods in particular, 
to me, the final result matters because then I've realized what's basically what used to be just a memory, an idea into an actual tangible piece of art. Um, I travel to Italy in search of ideas now and then because it's, um, it's very simple. It's, it's easy to find something interesting to draw or paint in Italy. There's so much and all of it is visually stimulating for me. Based on the ideas found when I travel, um, I usually get to a point where a certain idea has taken shape to such a degree that I'm able to actually turn it into a fully realized piece of art. To do this, I just take a sheet of paper, um, cut to the right size, and then using a pencil, I do a quick outline um just to get the composition right then i use a ruler to set out the perspective decide where the horizon will be vanishing points and then i'll draw a grid to indicate um perspective entirely next after that um i start inking basically on what the city or town will look like um I first do extensive sketching, like for drawings in the US, I have to draw all of it because uh, they're built on a grid, which is kind of hard to get right. However, Italian towns, for instance, are much easier because they're built closely together. You've got um, cul-de-sacs, dead-end lanes. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't have to connect. Um, already at an early age, I was quite aware of um, architecture and its multitude of different styles. Although it might seem so, most of my drawings aren't actually uh, architectural studies. Much more, I use architecture as a means to convey a certain mood or perhaps to reproduce memories. Finishing a drawing is like returning home after a long trip, but it's also the beginning of something new. Um, to describe my own life, um, I think it'd be appropriate to quote what Charles Birchfield, an American painter, once said about Edward Hopper. His is a life devoted to his art. <laughs>